Angel here. So today I wanted to do this video on how to ask the universe for what you want. Now, I know a lot of people get tripped up over this word using the word universe instead of God. So let me just clarify this before I get into what I wanted to share with you guys today. So to me, my definition um, in this video and for my life, obviously, what God to me is the creator of everything, the creator of everything that you see. Um, and then the universe is the world, the actual, the sky, the cosmos, the everything that's inside of it, the galaxies, the stars, the atoms, the energy and everything. And so if in the scripture it tells us that we can call those things that be not as though they are and call and speak to dead things and bring them alive, then to me that is speaking to things in the atmosphere and asking the universe to bring those things to uh, into your space, into reality. And obviously through prayer, we ask God as well. But to me saying the universe is actually speaking to those dead things that may be in our life or calling those things that are not as though they are. So this is a technique that I use all the time. And I actually shared it with my 11 year old this morning because there's something that she wants to manifest and I shared this with her and I'm actually using um, her little journal to give you guys this demonstration or this activity, this assignment that I want you guys to do in order to call those things into your life and how to really ask the universe and wait on those things to manifest. Now, so what you want to do is you want to put the date of today's date, the time, and actually where you are when you're writing it. So if you're writing it in your car, if you're writing it at the doctor's office, if you're writing it in your bedroom, if you're writing it in your meditation space, I like to write down where I am so later on I can reference those things and see where am I when I'm most creative or where am I when God is speaking to me the most. So you wanna put the date, the time, and where you're writing this in on your, um, on your actual manifestation sheet. And I'm going to put the link below. I've actually created a manifestation sheet below. So if you click that link below, head on over and you can download that. You can print it out and you can print as many copies as you want and actually turn it into a journal if you, if you would like. So you want to write, um, God, thank you for giving me the desire to. And then you want to fill in the blank. See, when, before I wrote my book, I had a desire to become an author. So I didn't give myself that desire. God gave me that desire. So you want to ask God, you want to, or you want to say to God, thank you. First, you want to start in gratitude and you want to say, thank you for the desire. You fill in the blank to whatever that desire is, because if you have the desire in you, then it's meant for you to accomplish that thing. And God is waiting for you to take the action um, corresponding to what he's giving you, the signs that the universe is showing you. So you want to write that down. So you want to start off saying, God, thank you for giving me the desire to blank. Then you want to fill in what it is that you want to manifest. Then you want to say, please give me the idea for blank. So this can be, get, please give me the, I, the my next step. Please give me the idea on who I should call. Please give me the idea on who I should disconnect myself with. Deleting things in our life is just as valuable as adding things to our life. So you want to write that on the next sentence. Then you want to follow it up with, I will wait in expectation for blank. Then you want to reiterate the thing that it is that you're asking the universe to bring to you. So like I said, click the link below, head on over, download that, print it out, print out as many sheets as you'd like so you can continue to use this technique over and over again. And I want to say something as far as waiting in expectation of what it is that you desire to manifest. Okay, so you know when you go to a restaurant and the waiter comes over to you and she takes your order. You give her your order and she waits on you. Now, most of us, particularly the church world, sits and waits for the Lord to do it. 
I'm waiting on the Lord. I'm waiting for the Lord. Now, what if when you went to that restaurant, you gave the la the waiter your order and she went over and sat in the chair and said, I'm waiting on the Lord to bring you your food. Like that's crazy. Waiting is an action word. So you want to wait in expectation. So whatever it is, whatever that desire is that you want to call forth and you want to manifest, you want to take daily action steps to, um, to manifest that. That is waiting patiently. That is waiting properly. So in my process of writing my book, I would go to Barnes and Nobles and I would just look through the books and look at what I wanted my book to look like and just ideas on, um, on the topic that I wanted to write. And so I wasn't just sitting around saying, just waiting and meditating like, Mm -hmm. Like I wasn't just doing that. Now that has its place too. Meditation has its place too. But when you call forth and when you ask the universe for what it is that you want, you want to make sure that you are waiting properly and waiting properly is taking action each and every single day. I hope that has helped you guys. I absolutely love you. And one more thing, if you guys see this video before August the 16th, I want to meet you face to face. I am going to be live and in person in Owings Mills, Maryland on August 16th. You can go over, I'll actually put that link below too or somewhere around here and you can click that and I'll get the address and the time and the date and my phone number and all of that wonderful stuff because I want to meet you guys face to face. I've conversed with you for so long. I've talked to you. Now I want to put a face to everybody's voice. So guys, I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.